In our lessons on diatonic modulation, we explained how modulation is really about transitions, how to get smoothly from one key to another. Chromatic modulation is very similar. It's easy to modulate with a big bump. The problem is getting to the new key gradually. Chromatic modulation is defined as modulation to keys that are not closely related. Of course, there are differences of degree. Modulating from C major to D major is less surprising, all other things being equal, than modulating from C major to D flat major. There are so many more accidentals which must change in D flat major. Classical composers sometimes use chromatic modulation, even though the context is usually diatonic. In this situation, the chromatic modulation tends to be more dramatic. When the overall style gets more chromatic, say in Wagner, chromatic modulation becomes less surprising. As in diatonic modulation, the fundamental problem with chromatic modulation is how to join the two keys convincingly. That requires attention to voice leading and to the way the new accidentals are introduced, as well as creating a sense of direction toward the new key. Of course, sometimes a substantial surprise can be appropriate. Here, the sudden contrast is intentional. This kind of thing is usually found in the development section of a sonata form, which is deliberately unstable, bringing together familiar ideas in surprising juxtapositions. If the above example were at the start of a piece, it would just sound wrong. But once the listener is already familiar with the material, it might be just what the form requires. Notice that even in this example, there are some things that connect the second idea with the first one. For example, the semitone voice leading in the upper voice, and the E-sharp becoming an F enharmonically. Also, the motive of measure 11 recalls that in measure 7. And of course, both ideas are in the same tempo and in 3-4 time and are played on the same instrument, the piano. Imagine the second idea played faster, say in brass instruments. That would make the continuity much less convincing. The point here is that the composer has to get the degree of contrast just right. And this depends on when it happens in the form. If the contrast is too great for the moment in question, the unity of the piece will be weakened. If not strong enough, there's a risk of monotony.